Well, hey there, MIT. Uh, just coming with you uh, with a video um, to, for a few different reasons. One, just to explain the expectations for the quarter um, and also just kind of show you what the lessons will be like. Uh, I'm going to try this type of recording and I'll be able to kind of write on um, the workbook lessons and you know show examples and things like that. Um, all I want to do with this one is just kind of go over the expectations um, with what you're going to be asked to do this quarter. Um, when you pick up your materials next week on Monday between 11 and 2, you will get a, a folder. You probably get a few different folders. Um, some classes are combined in one folder. Mine has a separate folder because you're going to get all the papers you need for the quarter in mine right away. Um, so. Let's go through the steps here and talk about what you need to do and what you will get in the folder. So this first step, many of you have done this already. You joined the Facebook group um, or have given me an um, alternative method to um, contact you um, to, so you get the videos of the lessons and you can get your tests and things like that. So um, still got some people to get done doing that, but a lot of you have done that already. Um, the next thing, when we start next Monday, if you pick up your folder with us next Monday, I will count that as checking in and for both attendance and for the respect and effort score in my class. After that, um, you're going to need to either send me a text, email, or Facebook message and just saying this is your name and that'll give you the respect and effort part of your grade um, for my class on that day. Um, I will accept that anytime. Um, it says 8.30 to 2.30, but um, I'll go a half hour either side of that. 8 to 3 is probably fine. Um, and so as far as the respect and effort part of your grade, which is 50% of your grade, that's all you have to do is check in. Okay, so um, remember if, you know, math isn't your favorite subject or it's hard for you if you do that part every day you have 50 percent in the class okay so make sure you're doing that part um the next thing what the folder that you're going to get from me is going to have um, the first thing is similar to what we usually get at the money textbook it's going to have parts two through four so it's it's pretty thick but we're not covering all of the objectives that are in there it is for um, to cover if people are going to be doing some extra credit. Okay, so it's going to be way bigger than what you're going to need. So don't worry about how big it is. Okay, um, just um, you know worry about what ones we're going to need to do, um, and go from there. So don't worry about how big that is. But that is a, a the textbook. Um, will have examples of all the problems that you will see. Um, I will also be posting videos um, on the lessons, kind of talking about um, the examples and explaining um, how to do them if you need to watch those. Um, there's two other smaller packets in there. The first one is a money workbook for required objectives. So required objectives means um, which ones you're going to have to do um, or what you'll be graded on for to get full credit in the class this quarter. Um, what you will see is you will have eight 10 question tests this quarter. So that means you'll have eight tests that cover two objectives apiece. Okay? Um, you'll do them in order, but you can do them at any pace you want. So on average, you should be getting one done a week if you want to get more than that done a week you go right ahead um, and then I'll talk about what you will do after that but um, what you'll do in this workbook um, is do um, practice for the lessons that I've been talking about so in the workbook I believe the first two um, or the first few pages says practice 13 14 so that means the first test you'll have to do is on 13 and 14 so you look at the examples in the textbook, watch the videos if you need to. When you, 
and then you'll do the problems in the workbook. Now, you don't necessarily have to do all the problems in the workbook. You need to do as many as you feel you need to to understand how to do the problems. The answers will be in the workbook. You do those problems. When you think you have them down, you send me a message um, through Facebook or um, if you're doing text or email, send me a message, say, I'm ready for test 1314. Then I will send you that test, okay? Um, you will take the test. Um, you need to get me the answers back in 24 hours. Um, and the way you can do that is you can write the answers on a sheet of paper and then take a snapshot of it and then text it or message it back to me. Um, so you just say like one is A, two is B, three is C, whatever. Um, or you can even write that in a text or um, email or messenger. Um, so um, make sure you put the form number on it and I'll remind you of that stuff too, but then just send back the answers. Then you'll just repeat the process, go on to the next two objectives you're supposed to do and practice them, then let me know when you're ready for a test. Okay, so again, on average, um, you should try to get about one test done a quarter or a week by the end of the quarter. If you get done early with that, there's an extra credit money workbook in the packet, okay? Um, if you have completed the eight tests with a, at least an average of 60%, then you can start working on the extra credit, okay? So again, this extra credit could help you get more than one credit for the class. Um, if you are below 60%, you can retake any objective at any time to raise that percentage, then can move on to the extra credit. Um, if you're doing the extra credit, um, you, you can do those in any order you want. You just send me um, a message and you take about like two objectives at a time or more and you just say i want an extra credit test on objectives you know 15 35 and 40 or whatever they are um then i'll send you those and the more you get the more credit you can get for the class so um i think you know that's a good opportunity for some of you um again this so this isn't the most ideal situation um, for school, but I think this could be good for some of you. Um, uh, you can stay at home, you can work at your own pace as long as you can stay um, committed to getting things done and on task. Um, this could be a, a good quarter for some of you. Uh, hopefully we get back in the classroom um, by the end of the year. Um, and we'll see what happens. So if you have any questions, um, email me, text me, message me, information's all on this piece of paper at the top. Um, and many of you I will see next Monday. All right, later.